We are now in the Miami Military Museum and Memorial, which is a designated site of national significance on the National Register of Historic Places. Our building is the largest artifact, in fact, in our uh, military museum collection. The building itself was Navy headquarters against the Nazi attack on Florida by U-boats, and subsequently it was the CIA headquarters for anti-Castro operations in the 1960s, and it was subsequently to that an Army Reserve Center during the Vietnam era, and lastly it was the Marine Corps Reserve Center for the local Marines up until their mobilization and departure for Desert Storm. So you've got 50 years of military heritage in the building itself. The, the building had three enormous hangars which were used to, to house the airships, which themselves were uh, huge. These three hangars, because it was uh, constructed during World War II, they were made out of wood. They were made out of wood because the metal, the copper, the steel, the aluminum, were being used for battleships and bombs. Unfortunately, though, its wood construction meant that it was susceptible to fire. There was a storm, and the hangars in the midst of the storm caught fire following a painstaking and rigorous restoration. Uh, the building now is a military museum housing specifically uh, in general Florida participation in uh, military matters and, and specifically Miami's participation in military matters.